Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Lieutenant General Upendra Tiwedi is the President General Officer Commanding in Chief of Northern Command of Indian Army. He has recently visited the ground zero at forward areas of Fire and Fury Corps along the LSE to review the security situation. The 14 Corps or Fire and Fury Corps is the Corps of Indian Army part of Army's Udhampur-based Northern Command. It looks after military deployment along Kargil Lake and looks after the frontiers with China, Pakistan and also guards the Siachin Glacier. In the picture released by Northern Command, we could see Lieutenant General Upendra Divedi with Sarko TRG-42 sniper and in background we can see K-9 Vajra. These two are important set of weapons deployed at LSE regarding which we will be discussing today. Sniper is a 18th century term derived from the game word snipe that is difficult to hunt as it efficiently uses camouflage to remain undetected. Sniping is a highly skilled precision killing business for most of the armed forces. The operational dynamics at the line of control and LOC are constantly changing. China and Pakistan have increased their sniping capabilities. Pakistani Army have inducted advanced sniping rifles of different calibers. As far as China is concerned, it has made QBU-88 domestic sniper rifle system as per the requirement of its People's Liberation Army. Considering these challenges, Indian Army has procured Sarko TRG-42 sniping rifle over three years back. It is a bolt-action sniper rifle designed and developed by the Finnish gun maker Sarko. The rifle is designed to power dot .338 Lapua Magnum size cartridges. Weighing approximately 5 kg without cartridges, the sniper rifle has an efficient range of 1500 meters. The sniper rifle of Finland is considered to be the most reliable in the world and this is the reason why special forces of almost every country are using them. Talking about K9 Vajra, it is a track self propelled howitzer and last year its regiment was inducted into Fire and Fury Corps in Ladakh. While it was originally meant for desert of Rajasthan, these guns have performed exceedingly well at high altitude terrain. It's also important to note that the Vajras, which is derived from South Korean Thunder, that has been operating in climatic conditions similar to that of Ladakh. It has been modified to operate at 16,000 feet high at LSE. We have already updated that MOD is looking forward for ordering 200 more K9 Vajras. Apart from Ladakh, the K9 Vajras will be deployed in central sector of Himachal Pradesh and eastern sector including Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. The K9 Vajra is a variant of the K9 Thunder, self-propelled 155mm Wurzer, especially designed for operation in semi-desert areas. However, considering the situation immersed at LSE, India needs to boost its firepower and with some modification and trials, the K9 Vajra is ready to roll in the mountains of Ladakh. We have also seen an Ordnance Factory boat made 7.62mm medium machine gun mounted on it manned by Commander which is an Indian version of FN Mag MMG. The original K9 has provision for HMG but it seems MMG has been placed to reduce its weight. The K9 Vajra weighs around 47 to 50 tons with a speed of maximum 67 km per hour. It has a maximum firing range which varies from 18 to 54 km depending upon the type of ammunition used. The overall operational range of this Vajra is 480 km. The K9 Vajras are also compatible to fire long range American made M982 Excalibur GPS guided 155mm shell with a range of 70 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.